Hello everyone and welcome to the Trash Arts Takes Horror Quiz. It wasn't the Trash Arts Take, but uh, it's live, so you're going to mess up straight away. So it's all good. I am your host, Sam Monstrous Bell, and we have psychic Ryan Weardog Carter, the silent man. And yeah, thank you for joining us for hopefully a bit of fun. I just want to say a big thank you to Ella Palmer for our lovely pumpkin. She did a great job. It's flowing in the background. And let's meet our contestants. Now, hopefully, they will all appear on the screen at once. Otherwise, I'm going to click the button a few times and, you know, it'll work. Here we go. So here is everyone. There we are. We're all here. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. <clears throat> so just in case people don't know everyone, we have Nasty Neil Jones from Without Your Heads. How are you doing, man? You good? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. I'm dressed up like something, and I'm I like ready it. to go. <laughs> I'm dressed as Nasty Neil. Well, good costume. It definitely fits. Mm -hmm. uh, Sing Lao, how are you doing, man? You good? I'm good. I'm good. Looking forward to this. Hyped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let's see how it goes. Hopefully, it's sharing on Facebook right now. It if is. people want to comment. Oh, it is. Good, good. Cool. We're on. We're on. Good. And uh, Annabella Rich, how are you doing? You good? Yeah, good, good, good. Cool, cool. And of course, Ashley Turner, how are you doing? You good? I'm great. How are you? You're, I'm good. You got your Freddy on. It's good. I do always have to time. always have to channel Freddy. See if I can get it. <laughs> there we go. So if people want to like comment as they go, I think I can see them. If not, someone else will see them and maybe we'll read them out. Right, so let's kick off with the quiz. Uh we'll go straight in with a general horror knowledge round. Now, just so you know, as the audience and for you guys, I have the questions to the side. So if I start looking over there, I'm looking at the other screen. I am going to read out the question once, and then I want you to read it out. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going to read out once, and then I'm going to read it out a second time in case you can't hear it. What I'll also suggest is that you write the answers down on a bit of paper, and when I ask for the answers, show the screen, and hopefully we can all understand and read it clearly. So, round one, the horror general knowledge. Question one, what is the name of the club formed by the kids in It? I'll say that question again. What is the name of the club formed by the kids in It? Let me know when you're all ready. I'm ready. Cool. Sing, you good? Bella, Ashley? Cool. Show your answers. Okay. There we go. Sing, show your answer. It says no idea, so don't worry. Uh, I think you have to put... <laughs> no worries. <laughs> well, three of you got it right. It was the losers club. I don't you don't need to have the club bit. We'll say losers, that's fine. That's all good. <laughs> My assistant declined. Can you uh, Ryan Ryan dog? Can you write it on the boards with the who's got the who scores and everything? So you see the format. We're gonna carry on with these questions <laughs> and uh yeah. Go with the flow. So the next question is, there, this is a quote from a horror film. Ooh. I will give you a clue to that horror film. Don't be thinking about the creme de la creme of good horror here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to deliver it how, it is, how it's delivered in the film. Ooh. They're eating her. Then they're going to eat me. Oh, my God. You want to hear that again? Anyone need to hear it again? Look at Neil. He's on it. <laughs> I'll do it one more time. They're eating her. Then they're going to eat me. Oh, my God. Went a bit posh there. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we ready with our answers? Cool. Singh, you ready with your answer? Oh, Bella, are you good? Yeah. Ashley, good? Cool. Reveal your answers. I guess. Okay, we've got... We've got that. Neil's got that right. It was Troll 2. Terrible film, but you have to watch it if you want to experience <laughs> it's an experience. It's a fantastic film. A fantastic film. <laughs> And a fantastic delivery of that line. In the <laughs> you go go and check it out on YouTube and see the real delivery. Uh, something to you're not going to forget that anytime soon. No. 
Question three. What links the 90s horror movie Scream, The Faculty, and I Know What You Did Last Summer? So I'll, I'll, I'll say that question again. What links the 90s horror movie Scream, The Faculty, and I Know What You Did Last Summer? To make clear, 90s horror movies, they're not all the same movie. Hmm. I would give some clues, but that's not how quizzes work, really. You know, guys be giving clues every on every question. Not yet, not yet. You said the faculty scream, and what was the third one? I <clears throat> I know what you did last summer. What connects all three of these films? We ready for answers? Yeah. Singh, you ready? Yep. Ashley, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Show me your answers. I know I'm not right on this. Mash. No idea. Don't know. The same school. Same school is a creative answer, but you're all obviously terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> is it one of the actors? No, it's they are all the same screenwriter, Kevin Williamson. Oh. When oh. you get that whole nineties slasher boom, he was reference. But it, Sorry to Kevin if he's watching. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really doubt it. <laughs> he's got better things. To, well, we're having a good time. We're, we're, oh, yeah. gonna, yeah. I bring shame upon my house. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. Which 1988 film features a group of aliens who looked like clowns? So to repeat that question again, which 1988 film features a group of aliens who looked like clowns? <laughs> Bella, you look stunned. You're just staring like forwards, confused. I was watching Neil when it's like a conviction to his answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Very exciting. Okay, those are then. Large. My face is very big in this. Stuff. You are very close to the screen, Neil. You're, you're very close. I like your shirt, <laughs> nasty Neil. Thank you. Very <laughs> nice. All right, then. Let's have the your answers on the screen. Okay, we've got it. Kill a clown from outer space. Kill a clown from outer space. Sing. Sing has gone. Oh, no. Sing. Sing has <laughs> left. I'm unsure of what just happened. I feel like we should, you know, as civilized human beings, wait to see what his answer was going to be. Speak for yourself, Sam. <laughs> uh, I can't, like, awkwardly message him whilst being alive as well because I can't stare at you and do other things whilst, you know, doing this. But I will try. Let's hear a bit from you guys. So, oh, Sing's coming back. We don't need to hear from you guys. We don't need to hear from you <laughs> <laughs> But I had a really good story. <laughs> you've got the right answer, Sig. Bit suspicious. You go offline, but you've got the right answer. I know. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Everyone has the correct answer there, but Bella, hey. you've already taken your mask off. <laughs> it's okay. You're still number one in my book, Bella. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, next question. How long after watching the tapes in the Ring movies... Will the viewers die? How long after watching the tape in the Ring movies will the viewer die? Can I show this? If you don't get this, like my horror knowledge. This is... one I might not know. But <gasps> nasty. I have to admit, I've never seen <laughs> nasty. the movie. You've I never know. seen the Ring? I've seen oh. Troll 2 many times, but I've not seen the Ring. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this says about me, but. Well, show your answers. Let's see what answers you have. You have 24 hours, seven days, seven days, seven days. It is, in fact, seven days. First one that Neil's got wrong. Let's see if there's many more. This is our last question for uh, the old general horror Norwich. Norwich? Knowledge? Norwich. <laughs> and the last question is, which popular genre actress plays the director in the cabin of the woods. Which popular genre actress plays the director in the cabin in the woods? Take your that. time. 
What the? And I like that film. <laughs> Let me know when you've got your answer. I'm just going to share the page. If people want to share it for other people to witness my Bye. awkward uh, presentations, Bye. go for it. <laughs> Well, my phone's not being good, so we'll leave that. Right, is everybody ready with their answers? Yes. Okay. Yep. Reveal your answers. Okay, we have Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Shame on the house. <laughs> Sing, what have you got? Blank, blank. Blank. I thought it was blank. <laughs> and not a clue. The answer was Sigourney Weaver. Ooh. And that is the end of the first round. Let's have a look at the scores, see where we're at. I can't see, so do you want to tell me what the scores are? Yeah, so we've got Neil out in front with four. That's we Neil in front. Ashley with three. And Annabella with two. And then Singh with one so far. You're nearly at that nil points. That's what you wanted. We'll get you to those nil points, Singh. We'll <laughs> okay, get you yeah. <laughs> Did we hear the sidekick, Ryan? No. Yes. No. <laughs> let's uh, let's have a chat with everyone. Let's see if this segment will work. Might be awkward. Let's find out. <laughs> all right. How do I do that? Okay. All I seem to be doing is changing the positioning of everybody. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how to do that. So we can all just talk to each other collectively. <laughs> Does anyone want to promote anything before we go to the next round? Would you like to talk about without your heads or to do with the Exodus script um, deadline? <clears throat> Or Bella, your film's coming out, or Sing Horror on Sea. I'm kind of feeding you what to talk about. But if we want to go round the, the the circle of square heads floating in, in space, <laughs> then we can get on with it. So, Neil, tell us a bit about Without Your Heads. Uh, Without Your Head, my weekly podcast. It's on live video. It's live every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern in the United States. And uh, we do a bunch of other stuff. Like uh, we did a Q&A recently for uh, Sam's new movie, Decline. And uh, we just had Severed Limbs, which is our uh, virtual film festival. And all that's on the Facebook group and on YouTube. Excellent. We'll make sure that, um, well, someone will write the comment links to all, those, all of our pages. Yeah. Let's just look up on. with that and you'll find it. That's the easiest way to go. Ashley, tell us a bit about what's going down with the old Exodus script fest. Um, so we actually, it's closed, uh, submissions are closed. We announced the winners on Saturday, 5 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. We also recently just launched our Three Haunted podcast, and that releases every two weeks. So an episode dropped today. Um, it's all things haunted, supernatural, metaphysical, and it's just mostly three friends kind of. I'm trying to keep my mouth clean. I have a bad, bad potty language mouth. So <laughs> kind of just Don't worry about that. talking about things, goofing around, dicking around. <laughs> Excellent. All right, then. Let's sing. Tell us what you've been up to. Well, the main thing or main news for me is horror on scene news. As you may be yeah. aware, they've for the first time ever, they've moved from the January date. So next year will be the 14th to the 16th of May and the 21st to the 23rd of May. So keep those dates free, Sam. That's what I'm going to say to you and everyone else. Oh, definitely, definitely. We, will. we, we will. <laughs> We cannot wait. And finally, Bella, what have you been up to? Tell us what you're working on. Oh, well, you and me have just obviously finished our feature length film acting and yes. we're diving into my first ever proper feature length script, which is a premonition film. So that's going to be. Ooh. Very interesting and very brutal on a woman who watches herself die in multiple, multiple ways and tries to avoid it. <laughs> Lovely feel-good stories from Trash Arts, as always. Always, always. <laughs> right, let's bring you all back. You're back. It worked. I think I've worked it out now. I think we can carry on without awkwardness. Okay, round two is horror franchises. So these are questions about different types of horror franchises. Um, very similar to the uh, previous round, you just need to write down your correct answer. So for the first question, which of the following is not the subtitle of one of the many Amityville sequels? Is it? And you need to just write down the one that you don't think sounds like the real one. So it's multiple choice. Is it The Evil Escapes? 
the original nightmare, or dollhouse. Would you like me to say them again? Yes, please. I will say the whole question as well. Which of the following is not the subtitle of one of the many Am Amityville sequels? The Evil Escapes, The Original Nightmare, or Dollhouse? And now, reveal your answers. I have no idea if this is correct. Okay, we have The Original Nightmare, The Original Nightmare, Dollhouse, and Sing, what was that? The Original Nightmare. Well, three of you are right. It was the original nightmare. I thought, like, if I did like as a multiple choice one, it wasn't. Yeah, because I would have. Yeah, there's like twenty one. Well, I of guess them. if you if you if it was a multiple choice and you just make up a, uh, you'd always be right unless you happen to make That's up true. a title. That... Okay, the next question: Which Friday the Thirteenth movie features the Necronomicon as seen in the Evil Dead franchise? So which of the Friday the 13th movies features the Necronomicon as seen in the Evil Dead franchise? Are we feeling ready for to reveal? Reveal! Can I just pick Neil's answer? <laughs> <laughs> oh. The only person who got it right was Neil. Because it's Jason Goes to Hell, which is the ninth Jason. Oh. Which, of course, Ashley, you went for six. Singh, you went for 11. And Bella went with the more curious, who knows? I knew, you know what's sad? <laughs> I knew it was one of the ones where it was like either the nine or six. I knew it had the eye before. I just couldn't remember visually uh. which one it was. So I'm like, well, I'll take a gamble. <laughs> so good. We've got another franchise question for you. In the first Saw movie. What time does Lawrence have to kill Adam by? Mm. Is it four o'clock, five o'clock, or six o'clock? That question for you one more time. In the first Saw movie, what time does Lawrence have to kill Adam by? Four o'clock, five o'clock, or six o'clock? Just for the record, guys, Sam came up with these questions. <laughs> and I'm so tempted at but every single point to ask or to answer these questions. And yeah, you keep yourself mute. <laughs> you put the mask on and be quiet. Brian, do me a favor and just reach over and smack the back of his head for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's more we like do that. that. We do that too much. No, we love each other. <laughs> Social distancing, all right? Okay. Reveal your answer. 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 5 p.m., 4 p.m. Only one of you is right, and that is Bella. It was Ooh. 6 p.m. Good job. <laughs> Your final franchise question. Oh, we've got a few comments. Sorry, I've become distracted, Ben. People are, people are on their scores. We've got minus nine of Emma Do. Simon, uh, I don't know if that's a score. And Joe Niblo says, can I, end, can I say end of the movie? <laughs> No idea what that means. I think it was uh he has to he has to uh, soft the leg by the end of the film. Ah. <laughs> okay, the last question for the gem the horror franchise is what was the original working title of The Omen? 1976, not the remake. Was it The Birthmark, The Devil's Child, 666, or the Awakening. I will say that question again. What was the original working title of The Omen? Was it The Birthmark, The Devil's Child, 666, or The Awakening? Reveal your answer. You're all wrong. You're all, or you're all wrong. Didn't do well. <laughs> <laughs> the answer, again, this surprised me when I read this, is the birthmark. 
Oh, really? Yeah. That was yeah. like the last one I would have picked. It's That's a like terrible, terrible name. Yeah. So glad they didn't go with that. Yeah. yeah, it's awful. Absolutely awful. <laughs> Those who are joining in, do read, write down your scores. I might look to that side and see it, or I might look to that side and not see it. We'll see. <laughs> okay. For the round three, we're doing something a little bit different for this round. This round is called Who Am I? Slasher Icons. So I am going to give you three clues, three clues, and then you write down who you think the slasher icon is. This round, I will admit, is a little bit easier. I hope. <laughs> I thought some of those were going to be easier. But I, I was, we're going to start with an easy one to get you into the mindset of how it works. So for everyone in, in out there listening or joining in, here's your question. Here's your clue, sorry. I am a seasonal killer. I am not a square, a circle, or a triangle, but I am the shape. I owe everything to William Shatner. <laughs> so I will write down the clues one more time for everyone. I am a seasonal killer. I am not a square, a circle, or a triangle, but I am the shape. I owe everything to William Shatner. He's not dead, but yeah. Everyone ready for their answer? My favorite Reveal your answers. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> what have we got there, Bella? No, I drew blank. <laughs> ah, you, ah, well, yes, it was Michael Myers. What was that? No, no. no, no idea in a blank. Oh. <laughs> Why a triangle? <laughs> Michael Myers is the killer in Halloween. Yeah, but why a triangle or a circle? <laughs> That's one. He's called the. Movie. He's credited as the shape in the movie. Yeah. Oh. The tricky little riddles. Tricky little riddles. You know. It's well, my, on my house now. <laughs> okay, the next one. I am a prude. I keep things quiet. No need to say that by yourself. <laughs> I take my mother issues with me. I am a prude. I keep things quiet. I take my mother issues with me. I don't know. I will give one clue just to help. Classic slasher icons, if that helps. Are we ready to reveal our answers? Reveal your answers. Yeah, of course it was. Norman Bates, I knew someone. I was, think, was, I was thinking that myself. So I, I knew someone of course, the mother, but, and possibly the prude. But have you got the silent I card, your answer, Bella. Show us your answer. Psycho. Psycho, you both went for psycho. Yes, it was Jason Voorhees. The difference. I have a Norman Bates painting up here, but you can't see it up there. Nice. I was hoping the difference would be Jason takes it outside because he kills outside. Whereas Norman kills indoors. Oh. I, I, uh, sorry, just grab a pen for Ryan. There you go. Thank you. Okay, last one. Uh, this one might be more trickier. Oh, wrong thing to be scrolling. Just got to scroll down. Okay. My face was never iconic, just easy to find. I'll keep you talking before you die. I might fall down, but we'll always get back up. One more time. My face was never iconic, just easy to find. I'll keep you talking before you die. I might fall down, but we will always get back up. What could it be? Are we all ready to reveal our answers? No. <laughs> I'm not so positive on this one. Well, see, reveal your answers. Jigsaw, no clue, no idea, and Candyman. Unfortunately, you're all wrong. It was Ghostface from Scream. Oh. Because it was a generic mask. And uh, he'll keep you talking because he's always on the phone. Yeah, and he's yeah. Over all the time, like a, a slapstick. So nobody got any scores that round. 
No, well, you did give some scores that round, not that question. Give us a little update. How are we doing on points, Ryan? So, Neil is currently on here Ooh. in total. We've got Ashley on six, and <clears throat> we've got Bella on three, Ooh. and Singh is also on three. Oh, so it's a neck and neck for winner and loser. It's, uh, there's no in between this. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my real hair, guys. By the way, I, I wanted. Oh, to, really? I wanted to come on tonight. Like, so Sam asked me to dress up, and I couldn't think of anyone to dress up as. So I, I decided to do Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Oh, I like it. I <laughs> massive like it. Back to the Future fan, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I backed out of it and just went with the oh. fine mask. Lazy, lazy. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> right, we're gonna go into the fourth round now this is an audio round so what it is, is these are classic film scores reverse and i will oh. keep playing until you shout out what you think the answer is and hopefully that will run as smoothly as i explained it so the first person to answer it gets the point yeah and hopefully it's not gonna be really that we'll find out here's the first one here we go can you all hear that Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm going to play the whole track until we get answer. I guess the but I don't think it's right. Oh. Let's pause that. What was that, Neil? I guess Suspiria, but I'm not sure if that's correct. You're wrong. Let's carry on. No, Candyman, no? Oh, whoa, whoa. Pause, pause. Who's that saying? It was Candyman. Candyman. Yeah, Sig, you got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It's just one point for that. Just it? one. Actually, let's, 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 let's change it up. You get two points for each one. Okay. You get two points for this round. I know I should have told you that. It's improv improvised, you know? We're, we're, we're working on the fly here, guys. <laughs> Here's your next down, one. <laughs> right, here is your next bit of music. Jason, Friday the 13th. Halloween. Oh, no, that's Halloween. Halloween. Oh. Halloween. Oh, let's see who got there, who got there, who got there. I'd have to argue Neil got there because Ashley said Jason first. Yeah. I said the one wrong first, yeah. Yeah. So there we Neil. go. Neil. Two Neil. points to Neil. It's a, that, that tune's crazy, Reverse. It, it, goes straight, it sounds like Halloween pretty much immediately. It's insane. <laughs> I, like, I like the techno version of that song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, here is your next one. Could it be? This one I didn't get, isn't it? No, you didn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see brains clicking away. <laughs> it's our own rendition. <laughs> Rosemary's Baby. Oh, let's pause it. Did he get it? Rosemary's yeah. Baby. That was Rosemary's Baby. Jesus, Neil. Nicely done. Wow. I thought it was, you know, as soon as you get into the Once you get the, the uh, yeah, the voice comes in there, kind of like the childish voice. Neil, as a horror podcaster, you're doing what you should be doing, which is good at this game. So it's all going well. It's all going well. I'm good at something. <laughs> <laughs> we now have our last audio track. So here we go. Quick buzzers. Shining? Let's stop it. <laughs> It is the shining. 
It is The Shining. Is that yeah, yeah. That's like, honestly, listening to that track, it is disturbing backwards. It's a whole... <laughs> You and Neil, absolutely, yes. Yeah, 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 very well done, very well done. I didn't know if it was going to work. I just thought it'd be an interesting one then. And I liked it, yeah. Work. We're actually like, I didn't know how long this whole thing was going to be. We're in our last round. This is our final round now. And uh, we're going to play Horror Charades. So um. <laughs> and um, what we'll do, just to make yeah. it easier, I'm going to choose a mysterious horror film from this. So if you get a bit of ASMR there, there you go. Oh. <laughs> and then we're going to start with Neil. You're going to do the first charades. So when right. I say close your eyes, everybody else, you will close your eyes, and I will show you what it says on there, and hopefully you'll be able to read it. Fingers crossed. Fingers All crossed. Right. Okay, so everybody, close your eyes. It isn't Neil. Sing, close your eyes. There you go. <laughs> Okay. You got it? We all know yeah. the rules of charades, right? Jeez, that's all a good. hard one, yeah. If there's any any of them that are spelt wrong, blame me, because <laughs> I'm terrible at spelling. All right, open your eyes, Sing. Now, I'm going to put the camera mainly on you, Neil, and when people know who it is... This is impossible. All right. When you know what it is, just <laughs> say your name. All right, Neil. You've got... I haven't got any way to calculate it, but you got about 30 seconds. No. I'll do longer. Actually, no, you don't have a time limit. We'll just go with a guess until it gets to a point where we're like... <laughs> I have no idea how you're even supposed to do charades for this movie, but... <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do it brilliantly. It's going to be great. When you're ready, Neil. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, I think. <laughs> let's go. We were trying to come up with stuff. Let's let's let him do the charades. I, I, I have no idea how you're supposed to I'm do just it. surprised. <laughs> Neil, does that mean you're going to lose minus 10 points? No. Uh, yeah, because I, 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 don't, I, don't, I can't even begin. To, I don't know how you would do this movie. Okay, we will be fair, and we will find another option in the hat. Okay? Okay, we've got plenty of time. We're all good. So let's go for another one. So everybody, close your eyes. Sing. <laughs> Okay. We get luck? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah? You yep. cool with that? Do you want another choice? No, no <laughs> everybody, <good>. look. <laughs> okay. Your time starts. Oh, that's not, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Now. Psycho. Sing. Psycho. Yes. Uh -huh. Sing, you got that as two points. By the way, if people don't get it, you will end up giving the points to the person who is doing the charade. Oh. This is the last round. It's I over it after this. This is the fifth round. This is the fourth round. No, this is the so, fifth round. So then you just gave me incentive to do the worst possible <laughs> charade <laughs> so they don't <laughs> give it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well... <laughs> All right. Let's By the go. way, can I say what the other one was? Just so people can see if yeah, they had any. Yeah. The other one was paranormal activity. I don't know how you would do that. Nah, you could have tried. You could have tried. There might have go, been some way. Go lay on a bed and drag yourself off. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's always one way to do it. Could have brought the camera interactive experience. I could have just wrote paranormal activity on my paper. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, it's yours next. Okay. Are you ready? Everybody, close yep. your eyes. And here you go. There it is. You see it? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody, open your eyes. Uh, before Ashley goes, remember it's, it's charade. So if you want to do the whole one, you know, one word. Which, Two sentence, whatever you want to do, you know. Whatever way you want to do, Ashley. Okay. Yeah. Right here we go. Your time starts now. There's no time. <laughs> Scream! Scream! <laughs> oh, there we go. That was a quick one. <laughs> Neil got that, didn't he? Yeah. Well done, Neil, for getting that point. <laughs> All right. Next up. Go back to all of us. 
We didn't do a roundup of points at the last round. No, we didn't. I've messed up a lot of how we've done. Right. The... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep going. Okay, so next round. No, not next round. The next person is Sing. If I close your eyes. And it is. I keep your eyes closed. All right. Can you see that? Oh, no. Can you see that? Yes. Like I said, it's probably spelt wrong. We're all good with that? Yeah, I can see. You're going to get nice and creative with this one. All right. Open your eyes, everybody. Here we go. Sing. Go. All right, guys. Apologies. Can you see this? <laughs> Exorcist, Ashley. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> nicely done. Nicely done. I love that you Anyone chose play? that specific scene. I'm going to save that clip, make a gif out of it, animate a gif. Three points, so you've got to write points now. <laughs> Where's the music? Like? <laughs> Like that, like that. Okay, and finally for horror charades, it's Bella. So everybody close their eyes. And let me just find one. I'm not exactly doing this randomly, which I guess is uh, what I should be doing. There we go. <laughs> right, I'm going to show it to Bella now. Okay, yeah. All right, and Bella, your time starts now. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh. Yes. yes. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> well really done. Good. Well done. So, yeah, I, I should have probably did some more rounds. I didn't think it was going to be that. I thought it would take a lot longer. <laughs> so, you know, 40 minute show. If it was network TV and all that, that would be long enough. We, we, right, we, you, can add, you can add some commercials in here. <laughs> Whilst we um, add up all the scores from all the complications of the board, <laughs> we will... complications. well, I'm just going to let people, you know, let, give yourself another plug quick, Neil. Go on. Oh, oh, that's me, that's me yeah. again. Neil, tell them who you are, what you do. Cool. Nasty Neil, without your head. I already mentioned without your head. I also have a short film that's uh, just went live on. Uh, did the festival run, and now it's on YouTube. Uh, Umbilicus Desidero. So you can check that out. Awesome. Thank you very much. And we're going back with Bella. Bella, do you have a? Did you have a trailer come out recently? Did, did I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the trivia. I did. <laughs> I had a trailer come out for acting. I would recommend everyone to give that a look. <laughs> where, you, where could you find that, Bella? You can find it on the Trash Arts page. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at my episode of My Horror Story. <laughs> Sing. Tell us what else, what else is going down in the horror world of Sing. Well, bizarrely, I seem to be getting myself uh, involved in lots of projects. So I think I'm involved in something by Merlin Roberts called The Cyclist. Nice. If you know Tony Marden, he's got me in The Witches yeah. of the Sand. And if you speak to those um, Ice Cream on the Beach chaps, they've got a new film, Mosaic, and I think I'm getting involved in that as well. And Fantastic. if you know about Chow Handy, Tales of the Great War, I think I've got a little bit in that as well. So lots of stuff coming up. Nice. And finally, Ashley, tell us more about what you're up to. So um, we announced the winner Saturday, but we're also announcing Trapped Film Festival 2021. So all the details come out Saturday. Submissions will be open in November. So pretty exciting. We're expanding. This year it was one night, but um, next year, 2021, it's actually going to take place over three nights. So Excellent. Right, are we ready with the scores? Are we we got they've been tallied up. They all tallied up and ready they've to been go. Tallied up. Right. <laughs> she covers her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is in last place? So last place, unfortunately, Bella. 
Did you? Oh, you're gonna have to get up on your horror knowledge. Who's in third place? Third place is Sing. Sing, you're in third place. Not bad. Not bad. It's all right. It's all right. So now we come to second and first. Out of the oh. last two remaining, who do you think's got it? I think Neil won. <laughs> he got. He was killing it on the audio. He definitely did kill it on the audio. What do the others think, Bella? Sing. What do you think? Who do you think's won? Yeah, I'd go for Neil. The audio, the double points. Stunning. Yeah, for you. I agree. <laughs> yeah. You got a winner. <laughs> to be fair. Or second place. Ashley, you give it a great shot. You were awesome in the last round, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, you finished on 10. <laughs> Neil ran away with it with 14. Well done, Neil. Yay! Well Way done. Let's give it up. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. You did what a horror podcaster who's been running it for 15 years should do and win a general horror knowledge quiz. Well, I'm going to take this off for the last bits because it's so hot. I feel like I should reveal that I actually, you know, I'm not just a skull. Like a I'm not just a skull, person. yeah. So, still got the makeup on. Yeah, of course. So it's not going to disappear. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone who's been watching. The comments have been hilarious. I wish my eye could be more on it. People to... want to know what the score is. And, and you know, generally things that we didn't do properly, people have loved to make a lovely comment about it, which is good. It's all supposed to be for fun. Uh, I'd like to do this again because it's fun. Um, I'm thinking maybe Christmas. Maybe we could do a Christmas film quiz. I'll see if you guys are up for it. Neil, you'll have to come on because you were the winner. And that's right. what the winner wins, which is now revealed. Surprise win. Surprise win. So, yeah, thank you for everyone joining us. Uh, Trash Arts Take Our Podcast is not on this week, but it will be on next week. I hope you all have a lovely Halloween. And, yeah, thank you, everyone, and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. you all. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Bye.